Today let us create uh, a simple static website and also host it on uh, Bitbucket. So if you have been following my channel, I have been uh, talking about uh, having your own website and uh, I showed you how, how you can uh, host your own static website on GitLab and I talked about it quite a lot. The good thing is that you can also do the same thing on uh, GitHub and also on Bitbucket. Now I'm talking about Bitbucket because uh, I have another channel where I basically talk about things that you can do with Atlassian tools like Jira and of course Bitbucket but I thought of posting this video here because on this channel I uh, I, I have been talking about uh, similar things in the past. So let us, let us use Bitbucket now and uh, let us uh, create a simple site, a static site that we can uh, hopefully take a look at and uh, play with in just a uh, few minutes. Now the first thing that you need to do, you need to create uh, a workspace and uh, on the left hand side if you click on the workspace and by the way I'm using a Bitbucket cloud version, not the server version, just for clarity. So you need to give your, you, you, you first need to create a workspace uh, name. Now what I recommend is that uh, if you are trying to create a static site, uh, you can have, I believe, one uh, one static site within a workspace. So if you create a workspace here like uh, Ravi, or maybe I'll, I'll create something like uh, Blackberry Boy. That is my channel's name. And uh, you will get a workspace ID. Now keep this uh, in your mind and uh, or maybe copy it. Don't forget it. So if you click on the create button, it will create a workspace for you and then you will be taken to your workspace. Now what you need to do now, you need to create a repository within your workspace that you just uh, created and uh, this should be of course selected on top and you have to give your project a name. Now if you are uh, if you are uh, using a uh, Bitbucket, you basically have to use uh, the same workspace uh, ID which is Blackberry Boy so I'll copy this Blackberry boy and uh, you need to also make sure that the repository name is uh, following uh, this uh, this uh, pattern called uh, not, not a pattern but it, it has to ha have this uh, this uh, at the end like starting with the workspace ID which is Blackberry boy in this case Blackberry boy dot bitbucket.io so this should be the repository name and uh, and that is it really and you can uh, maybe uh, yeah you okay you can have it as a private repository and uh, if you want you can uh, create one uh, one git ignore file but i'll not create any file here i'll just leave everything as it is maybe for sake of uh, clarity i'll uh, create my project name same as the repository name why not you don't have to but I'm just doing it. So create a repository and uh, then we have a new repository and, and now what you have to do, you have to basically create a file within this uh, repository and that file is basically your index.html file, bare minimum. Of, co of course you can have your own folder that you can upload here, um, basically anything that you want in your static site. The good thing is that you can also create a file, if you click on the create readme file, we will not be creating a readme file, we will basically create a index.html. You can do it from your web interface. So you can uh, create one file and maybe you want to get rid of everything and uh, maybe you just want to type in some HTML. So nothing too complicated. I'll just keep it very simple HTML and what else? Let us also have a body. I think uh, there is no harm in following some basic uh, structure when it comes to making a site and uh, this or maybe maybe a bit more while I'm doing it you know let, let us create some some content so blackberry boy is the name of my site and I may want want to have maybe a title I hope I'm doing it correctly we don't really um, write pure HTML these days, although I have a, I have a site called ravisagar.com which is nothing but pure HTML. 
I think there is a joy, like some kind of a sweet joy in doing the, in creating a website in just plain HTML. So title is welcome to Blackberry Boy, and uh, and that is it. So this site is uh, created using, or rather, I should say, is hosted on Bitbucket Cloud. I hope maybe I'll uh, just enclose everything in a div. Maybe one more div here. I hope you enjoyed visiting this site. For more information, you can follow my other site, which is uh, ravisaga.in. And what I'll do, I'll create a link. And uh, in case someone is trying to follow this site, trying to follow my, maybe they want to follow my website. I want them to visit my other site. Why not? And basically the bare minimum you need is of course one HTML file, but of course you can add uh, CSS and I think you, you I think you can also add uh, JavaScript. So let us commit this and hopefully it will work. So once you do this, you need to basically open this uh, URL, which is uh, blackberryboy.bitbucket.io. So I'll copy it, I'll paste it and let us see. And it works. Of course, it is not really a complicated site, but it is a static site and you are hosting it for free on uh, on Bitbucket. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I have talked about uh, similar things. Uh, in case you want to do something similar with GitLab, you can also using GitHub. I maintain a couple of sites on uh, GitLab because uh, it gives me an app. I mean, GitLab offers pipelines. So basically whenever I commit something from my local computer, and I push it, GitLab will publish the site for me automatically. So I, I quite like that. And uh, on GitLab, you can also have a custom domain. So that is always good to have, along with, of course, the certificate. So in case you want to do something maybe with Bitbucket, you can. I mean, there is a possibility, and that is what I basically wanted to show you today. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.